All right, hey Taurus. So you guys, I am doing a Twin Flame energy update for those of you who feel that you're on the Twin Flame journey. Those deep, complicated connections, right? That we are just, they're pretty inexplicable. So you're going to, what I'm doing is I'm pulling masculine energy and feminine energy. I do not know which side you're going to be on, obviously. So if it doesn't resonate with your energy, you can check your other placements, but I am asking people to cross watch uh, their person's, uh, the twin, their twins um, read. All right. So um, here is what's coming through for you guys. Uh, so you and your twin flame are connecting at um, a third eye crown and even uh, soul star um, chakra. The dreams card, this is going to really um, resonate more with a third eye. So you could be dreaming of each other, um, connecting in 5D. Um, it just a lot of things pop into our head um, randomly, especially for those in uh, separation, which is um, basically what this read is. Um, so uh, what these cards, um, the chakra cards are for is for you to personally um, connect, clear and um, heal through these uh, the, like the soul star chakra and the third eye. Uh, clear any blockages, especially, um, you know, the third eye so that you can... Um, really remember your dreams when you wake up dreams deliver messages and i feel that um this card right here this dream card is going to resonate um you know on that that uh when it comes to the astral plane um especially so just know that you and your twin are meeting on the astral plane up in 5d all right and meditation um coming through so meditate clear your energy you guys um that's what your spirit guides and your angels are asking you to do so um the blue deck is going to represent the masculine energy so uh just know that um just because you are a male it doesn't mean that you couldn't be the more feminine energy um in this dynamic okay um and that's be that's because we uh we all embody this um divine uh feminine and masculine energy we all have masculine and energy masculine and feminine energy so typically the male is the runner um in these scenarios right um so let's just see what's happening with this masculine energy um and then we're going to line them up while wow, all major arcana coming through so definitely not all major arcana but definitely some um uh, heavy or uh, heavy I don't know if it's heavy it's heavy in a good way type of energy coming through on the male um, so what I feel just overall right here is the male um, counterpart in this dynamic is really being influenced uh, probably through dreams um, uh, and visions um, but let's just see so the overall um, energy of the male Counterpart is that of single, being single, working on uh, financial status, financial growth, um, and independence, okay? Um, this right here is going to be more in reference to fulfilling um, the own their own dreams. They're just pursuing their own, um, what they want in life right now. This is uh, embodied uh, independence. So um, for the male in this um, aspect, this male is not um, going to be attached to a karmic situation, um, speaking of situation, so we have, um, the will of fortune coming out in the male counterparts, uh, um, personal situation and the will of fortune, um, to me, this is saying that this, um, masculine is being uh, guided right now with, um, angels and spirit guides and basically, um, just letting you know, um, for the feminines that are here that the, the, um, fate is actually is is stepping in okay and and no you can't see it right now no you can't feel it right now but fate your the angels the spirit guides in on your guys's journey the ones who are guiding you guys um they are working with the masculine counterpart and um it, it's also too i almost kind of feel like because you know you guys do know each other um male counterpart is waiting for fate to step in and see um which way you know where this is going to go what's next what comes next in this person's life um physically we have the full card coming through so the male uh, counterpart could be experiencing um anything new when it comes to um their home 
um, travel, move, uh, money, finances, career. So there's um, some new experiences that are happening within the, the masculine's um, life right now. Um, and that's physically. So there are physical changes that are happening um, within the male. And this is in, in the physical um, everyday, day-to-day -day life. All right. So the male counterpart is actually going through some new transitions and some new experiences, new beginnings. Mentally, a uh, masculine counterpart is um judgment card is coming here so um uh, depending on how long you guys have been in separation mode um mentally um thinking about your guys's past how you met how you came together making love having sex whatever you want to call it um just thinking about every um uh aspect you know when you guys were together when you hung out together when you guys were um just meeting um, just all the feelings of the deep, deep connection. All right. So mentally, um, this, this male counterpart is thinking of everything in the past, everything in the past, um, between you guys. Um, and, and also too wondering if that past is coming back and then emotionally, um, I feel without a doubt, the male counterpart is, um, uh, is recognizing the twin flame dynamic. There is no other way to lay this card. It's the four of wands. This is the twin flame card. So coming into this, uh, recognition, and I do not feel like it's, it's at a soul level. I feel emotionally all of this right here that's been happening since the last check-in. And I did this last month. Um, this, this male counterpart is actually, um, it, it coming in to acknowledge uh, the twin flame dynamic. Okay. So if before they didn't know a lot about the twin flame, it's like they've been researching um, it, and been showing things, um, you know, in dreams and whatnot. And you guys just need to have faith and believe that that's what's been going on. Um, we, you know, we, I am such a believer in creating our um, own destinies. And this is going to be a part of it. So the feminine energy um for this twin flame updates let's just see what's going on with the feminine that is entirely too many cards all right let's see what's happening with the feminine on this twin flame ring knight of cups the lovers the Six of Pentacles, the Star card, and the Two of Wands. Okay, so the feminine right now in this um, dynamic. All right, so let's just see what's going on with this female. Feminine. Tarot doesn't recognize sex, so I apologize. I had to keep correcting myself on the air and fire signs too. Okay, so the energy of the feminine right now is that of the Knight of Cups. Okay, so um, there could be a lot of uh, people um, approaching. She could be a uh, divine feminine, could be getting a lot of attention um, from other people. But I almost kind of feel with this Knight of Cups energy that this is, uh, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to accept it. You know, I'm not trying to accept anybody with an empty cup. Um, also, too, this is um, embodying a lot of love. So even though the um, counterparts are not together, this feminine, the current energy when it comes to the whole dynamic is um, also, you know, calling in like, when is my masculine coming into me? Um, and if masculine comes in, is masculine bringing anything in this cup? All right. Uh, is there going to be any, is there, uh, you know, it's like, I almost feel, is it, is it just sex? Is it just empty? It, what, what's coming through? Is it? Is this person coming through? Um, Knight of Cups energy is also um, love. Uh, it's dating. It's new romance. Um, so that could just be what the feminine is experiencing, what she's expecting, and maybe even what she's like um, her outer projections. Okay. Um, the current situation of the feminine, regardless of what's happening around her, um, the lover's card is coming through. So her, her, her journey and forgive me for using those masculine and feminine. Um, I'm sorry, guys. It's, it's just going to be what it is. Anyways, the, the situation of the feminine is is um, thinking about the twin flame dynamic. Um, this is saying right here that uh, she's um, not able to shake whatever is going on, um, even if uh, in separation, um, even if uh, there is talking going on. Um, the feminine is, is just focusing or building um, her situation around all right 
um, the, the, I feel it's the dynamic of the twin flame journey. Um, physically, the feminine energy right here is um, leading a very balanced um, and a successful um, uh, time right now. So working on financial growth, stability, and just becoming a success. All right. That's what the six of pinnacles is all about balance, finding balance and embodying success. So the feminine um, is just really kind of focused on self right now at this point in time. Mentally, All right, guys. Um, sorry, I had to pause. Um, so, um, mentally feminine is experiencing a whole lot of wishes being fulfilled right now. And I feel like that's in every, uh, you know, uh, part of life that's in all dynamics. So, um, mentally making, um, hopes, wishes, wishes, and dreams, um, coming true for feminine self. All right. So really focused and, um, keeping the eye on the prize is what I see here emotionally um e e the emotional body of the feminine though is still kind of hesitant um uh pulled in different directions even maybe just not being able to see or see a whole clear uh path okay i'm not really sure what road to take not really sure if the road that you guys are on together is uh um going to be something that um actually comes to fruition this is also you know about looking out and seeing everything that's been done so far and expanding that and seeing where where things could actually go this right here is all about too um building that empire and and seeing that empire and that's what the feminine is focused on right now building an empire around the hopes and dreams um, that feminine has so pushing the cards together, merging them. Um, this is going to be mutual energy. So um, the biggest thing um, are going to be the fears and doubts. So starting with the fears, mutual energy is the, the feeling of um, being single, the feeling of being just single. And it's one thing to be single and independent and have growth uh, financially. Um, but also too, is um, everybody that uh, we run into always going to be um, coming with that empty cup of love. The Knight of Cups is also um, has the potential to be belligerent, um, to use people for sex, uh, to um, is, is this another rendition? of everything that we've already been through because you know what people who are, are um, um, light workers and star seeds and on this twin flame journey I do heavily heavily feel have been through some of the worst types of pain and that's because you, uh, you guys have a story to share with people and it's almost kind of like um, when you guys met it's like too good to be true so good to be true in fact is this going to be another rendition of being let down all right so that's some heavy heavy fears and that's mutual energy um, doubts is fate going to step in and guide you guys to where you need to be on this path? Doubts is the twin flame journey, the soulmate dynamic. Does that even really exist? Is fate going to step in? So that in, in, in turn with the fears is just super, super heavy. It's almost like this is too good to be true. And it's, is it, is it okay just to leave it here almost just because we are scared. We're scared of um, it turning into shit, you know, like everything else that we've experienced in life. When it comes to love, the mutual energy that you guys feel towards each other is a whole big balance. Um, this is balance, you guys. Um, brand new energy that you've never, ever felt before. And no matter where you guys are, how far the distance, you guys do feel balanced and you do feel newness every single time you guys talk, every time you communicate, every time you see each other, um, every time that you guys have had an, an encounter, it's always brand new. All right. And that's what you guys bring. And so the mutual energy of love is just really, really well balanced, something that you guys have never, ever experienced with anybody else before. Um, when it comes to mutual wishes, I mean, holy cow, there's just so much to say here because um, I feel with the, the energy of the star card and the judgment, um, this right here for wishes is bringing each other back bringing each other together so that we can complete this life um, and embody everything that we want, all of our hopes and wishes and dreams. And I feel like that can range from anywhere from 3D all the way up to nine, ninth dimension energy. Um, you guys have a lot. There's a lot of determination. Um, there's a lot of feelings and there's a lot of positive energy that comes through here with this uh, reading, Taurus. Um, and finally, um, the advice that's coming through on this is... <laughs> 
um, you know, it, it's not you, your guys' situation. Here's what's coming through from your angels and spirit guides, Tauruses. Um, the energy is is no more of about not knowing what path to take. It's about accepting the path that you're on. All right. This is going to be about accepting the path that you're on. You're, you're on this twin flame journey. You're on this path. All right. And it's about accepting it embodying it and um this is your confirmation for those of you who continue to question and trust me i've been on um i, I can't say i've been i feel like i still am on this journey um but it's easy for um these things to come out and play in question um but without a doubt you know your angels and spirit guides are saying this is you this is your path you guys will come together there there will be union and you guys will see the empire that you build together it's not going to be without um one another you this is a journey that we fulfill together all right and once um every all the energies come through and awaken um you guys are going to be on the same path no matter what um it doesn't matter what you guys are doing to earn money it doesn't matter what you're doing now in life um it's going to be a natural guided thing that you guys are going to want to do together okay so with that being said i'm going to pull from the twin flame oracle deck just to see where you guys are aligning and what's coming through between now and the next 30 days so we'll see if there's any updates um i i talked to somebody the other day i was doing a starseed uh origins chart for somebody and they're actually in twin flame marriage and i just thought it was so cool because uh, I have not met any twins that were actually married and I could just tell, um, that, that, yeah, that they were, uh, truly, truly there. Okay. So you guys, Taurus, uh, for those of you who are still here, um, there is a lot of positive energy here. Okay. There's a lot of positive energy that's happening here. So I feel like for whoever I'm connecting with, um, you guys, you guys uh, are um, pretty, pretty, es pretty elevated, escalated. All right. So you guys have been knowing each other for a while. Um, I'm just trying to put the cards in order so that. Um, I'm putting the cards in order so we can see how this is going to play out over the next 30 days. All right. So here's what I'm going to say. All right, so here's what's happening. Um, and the feminine is going to be the more prominent energy showing up here. So I do feel like there's going to be more feminine energy, the masculine. Um, but the feminine energy comes through. Um, and this is, again, between now and next mid-month. Uh, your divine feminine, you, seeking her twin or soulmate. All right. So, and I, I feel like this is one more over seeking. It's like it's here. Um, but seeking, when is a masculine going to awaken? When is... Um, masculine going to come through when is masculine going to see this for what it is. Okay. So that's where we're kind of aligning. You're going to know which uh, step you're on. All right. Um, now when we get to marriage, I just got to tell you guys, um, that could be a possibility for the future, but I, but look at those, um, tight knitted, um, um, uh, uh, outcomes more as a, a coming together and, and unifying unification or even just acknowledging wholeheartedly um, enough so that it goes to that next step. All right. So um, here we have release. So loosen your hold, relax, unwind, release fear, anxiety, and doubt. And I feel like that is coming through for the feminine and this connection. All right. Because once we release and we don't try to hold on to anything, um, we start seeing things come to light for us. Uh, transformation. So breakthrough reinvention and ready for the next level. All right. That could be on um, either uh, situation and it could be both of you guys mutually kind of aligning together. We have offer coming through um, gesture, engagement, wedding, and rejoice in union. So offer coming through, um, it very well could be. So for those of you who have been on this journey for a really long time and you just know without a doubt, um, you know, some of you guys could be receiving this offer for engagement, for commitment. Some of you guys could be just accepting an offer to go get coffee. Um, but still, it's anything on this journey is going to be a super huge breakthrough, no matter what, you guys. And then we have marriage. So legal partnership, commitment, mutual bond, and societal contract. And if anything, if it's not a marriage, if it's not a societal contract, you guys, um, 
are formulating this mutual bond here between now and the next 30 days, a mutual bond where we communicate, we talk about feelings, we talk about growth, we talk about what we want to do in life and where our connections stand strong, right? So um, I think that's, that's some pretty good update, man. For those of you who resonate with this energy, this is quite, quite beautiful. And I'm so looking forward to hearing where you guys are at, especially for those of you who are in communication, you're already seeing transformation. Um, you've already, you're already seeing breakthrough because of your release. All right. So here we have the root chakra coming through, um, security to feel more secure, deepen your connection with nature. And then we have the um, chakra balance card coming through with equilibrium. All things work and uh, are best in conjunction with all things. So uh, uh, crystals to use while you're uh, meditating, um, clear quartz, amethyst, uh, lapis lazuli, jade, citrine, carnelian, and smoky quartz. And then I'm just going to pull one more card to see what your spirit guides want you to recognize at a soul level. Uh, I have to say I am super impressed with the amount of masculine energy coming through here because you guys, not a lot of masculine energies are so far up to date, but for whoever is the masculine coming out on this Taurus read, um, I, I just, I commend it because um, it, it's hard for masculine energy to recognize all of this. Um, am I getting enough rest to restore my energy and fully show up to my life? You are the asset. This body is your vehicle. Notice how your body is feeling, how much sleep you are getting, and what you can do to help your body rest. Um, today's action is to take a bath, put some lavender essential oil in there, go to bed ridiculously early, give yourself a time out today. Notice your body thanking you. And today's mantra is to, the more I give myself permission to rest, the more I can contribute. All right, I'm going to leave it there. You guys are awesome. What a beautiful update, you guys. I, I'm so happy for you. I'm going to leave it right there. You guys take it easy. Take care.